Out of complete curiosity, I picked up an eight ounce jar of sprouted almond butter on Thrive Market and it cost me $16 before tax and shipping, which is outrageous. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own homemade sprouted almond butter for a whole lot less than that. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Feast and Farm Cooks. I'm Rachel Ballard and this is the channel where I teach you how to eat food in a way that supports your body so that you can live, love, and do more of what brings you joy. So what is a sprouted nut and why does it matter? The truth is that all nuts, seeds, grains, legumes, beans, they all contain oxalates or phytic acid. Phytic acid, when ingested into your body, goes down through your digestive tract and pulls out your minerals, including your magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, zinc, and a whole bunch of others. And when we consider that most of us are already deficient on our day-to-day -day life and that diseases themselves can be caused by a mineral deficiency, it's pretty important that we control how many oxalates are getting into our body through our diet. Sprouted products are available across the internet from a wide variety of retailers. You can also sprout your own if you wanna save additional money. All you have to do is get your hands on some raw organic nuts or seeds, soak them in a little bit of water with a little bit of an acid. So lemon, baking soda, and even a little bit of whey is a great option. And then dry them in a dehydrator or on a very, very low oven until they're dried all the way through. I'll leave you some links in the description box for places you can pick them up if you wanna dry your own or if you wanna buy them dried, which is what I do to save myself a little bit of time. And some extra resources on how long to soak each nut. So we're gonna take our nuts and we're gonna put them on this cookie sheet. And we're going to give them a quick roast in the oven. And this is gonna to help to activate their natural oils. We're gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for about five minutes. You can also do this in a dry skillet if you would prefer, but just make sure you keep a really, really close eye on them because they can burn really fast. All right, so let's get these nuts in and get them going. Just gonna put the whole load in here. This is about two cups worth. You can certainly do more if you want to, but we're just gonna start with this amount and then we're going to put our lid on and we're going to make sure our tamper is in there and you can do this in a food processor if you want to it's going to take closer to like 12 or 15 minutes in a really good food processor in this we should see some results by four or five minutes but just be patient with the process it will come together Really quick, I'm stopping. Do you see the almond butter forming right down here at the bottom? You can start to see it coming together. Let's take a look inside and you can see that it's really smooth, really creamy. Now, you can leave it just like this. Some people like to add a little bit of oil, sometimes a quarter of a cup of maybe an avocado oil or another heart healthy oil. I don't recommend seed oils, you know that, no canola, vegetable, sunflower, safflower, all that. But if you wanted to put a little oil in there, you can. All I'm gonna add actually is just a pinch of salt, just a little bit of sea salt in there, kind of helps enhance the flavor a little bit, and a little bit of raw honey. Now obviously that's optional too, but so many of your, of your almond butters on the market are sweetened with regular sugar. And if you're used to having something sweet, it can be helpful to add just a little bit of honey in the beginning while you're getting used to a new flavor. So that's okay to do. So I'm gonna put those in and we're gonna mix it again and we're almost done. So as you can see, it is really thick and really smooth. But if you wanna go ahead and make it a little thinner, feel free to add a little more oil. One of my favorite ways to get almond butter into my diet is in a smoothie. You can check out my favorites right here and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, see ya.